Here are some very frequently asked questions about embalming and the answers straight from funeral directors. Number 1. Is embalming required by law? There's no federal law regarding embalming, and state laws only exist in a few cases when a body will be transported across state lines. There may also be local regulations requiring a body to be embalmed if it's not buried within a certain period after death. Number 2. Is there a health risk involved with not embalming a body? No, there is generally no public health risk involved with not embalming a body, as verified by the Centers for Disease Control. Number 3. If a body is going to be viewed at an open casket funeral, does it need to be embalmed? No. If a family wants to have a viewing but not have the body embalmed, it can be preserved with ice packs and refrigeration. Not all funeral homes will accommodate this method so you may need to do your research to find the right funeral home if this is your preference. Number 4. Are there other alternatives to embalming beyond refrigeration? If you prefer not to have your loved one's body embalmed, you can choose direct cremation or direct burial, in which the body is buried without any viewing or funeral service. You can still opt to have a memorial service without the body present. Number 5. How much does embalming cost? Embalming in the U.S. generally costs about $500-$700, though this can vary based on location and other factors. This fee is in addition to any other funeral expenses. Number 6. Does my religion allow embalming? There are a few religions that prohibit embalming, notably Islam, Orthodox Judaism, and Baha'i. It's generally permitted by other religions, though it's best to ask your religious leader for their views if you want to be absolutely sure. Number 7. Are embalming chemicals safe? Formaldehyde is the most commonly used embalming fluid, and it is both highly toxic and a known human carcinogen. Embalmers are required by OSHA to wear a respirator and full body covering while working. Number 8. Is there an environmental impact from embalming? When an embalmed body is buried, the toxic formaldehyde in the embalming fluid can seep into the ground and affect the soil and water. The chemical can bond with moisture in the atmosphere and find its way into rain and snow. In the U.S. alone, more than 5 million gallons of embalming fluid are used each year. Number 9. If a body is being cremated, should it be embalmed? If there will be a viewing before the cremation, you might choose embalming if you wish to preserve the body's appearance. However, there's no specific need to embalm a body before cremation. Note that when an embalmed body is cremated, the formaldehyde enters the atmosphere and can remain there for months. Number 10. Does embalming preserve the body forever? Embalming delays the decomposition process, but the body will still eventually decay. Number 11. Is embalming the standard around the world? Embalming is most common in the United States and Canada, and less so elsewhere. 